Oh, this is just great. My electric's off. My internet's off. Tropical Story Gamma has put a big damper on my vacation fun. The wind, every once in a while there's really powerful gusts. Man, I was just bragging about how my electric hasn't gone off or my internet, but it has now. So, I'm just gonna read a book in the rain. I just almost went to a different city today. I was gonna get up really early at like eight-ish and go to the bus station, but I'm glad I did not. Oh, somebody was looking out for me, I guess. Anyway, hope I survive. <sighs> well, it's 11 o'clock. This has been going on for about three hours. I'm still out of electricity. It's windy. It, it's coming in gusts that just, uh, you can see right there, there's a thing blew down into the pool. Part of the branch broke off over here onto the roof. Uh, but it's bad. And it doesn't seem to be letting up. It's still raining. The pool's getting ready to overflow. And in, it looks like it can get into the downstairs of the house if it continues. Unless there's drain uh, drainage places on that cement patio, I hope. I never really paid that much attention. Uh, but just when you think it's over like this, calm. Then all of a sudden, whoosh, the trees are almost over into that. See, just like this. Ugh, so frustrating. I've gotten, my eyes have gotten so bad. I uh, To read a book, I'm reading this book about uh, Jimmy Carter, my favorite American president. And to read it, I have no lights in here. And it's dark, so I have to sit. I'm sitting like right here by the... Uh, window to get some light. This just happened like overnight. One day I just woke up, looked at my phone, and I couldn't see it. I thought, what the hell? Unless I hold it like two feet away from me, so I think my nearsightedness is gone. I'm going to need glasses. I will never wear glasses. I'll have to get contacts, I guess. Anyway, I'm still here. No Wi-Fi, no internet, or, sorry, no electricity. No food. I have no food in here, and I'm on the edge of the jungle. Uh, there's only little shops, maybe 10, 15 minutes on foot from here. Uh, and they're probably closed in this. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a phone. I don't have a SIM card. I can't call that driver who usually comes. That's something you've got to do in every country. Get a SIM card so you can actually make calls instead of relying on Wi-Fi. I should have learned this a long time ago. But... I haven't. I'm just praying this in soon. And then the sun comes out and these electric people here in Mexico can work harder than they do in the USA. Just kidding. I'm not saying they don't work hard in the USA, but I just hope they work harder so they get this done and they get everything functioning so I can go get something to eat. You know? At least I have a big belly. <laughs> I think it'll get me through <laughs> for a few days, maybe. And good, my my stove is not um, electric; it's uh, gas. So, and I have some coffee. So, I've got coffee. I've got this chocolate bar with Donald Trump's face on it that I thought was kind of cool to buy at the airport. So, Donald Trump might end up saving my life. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. Nothing else in this house except water. Ugh. Anyway, one beer. I've got one Dos Equis. <laughs> what a vacation. Oh. If it's like this all over, this is in Tulum, in the jungle, surrounded by woods and wind blocks. And it's doing this. It's going to be, there's no way they're going to be able to get this, uh, 
the electric and stuff on in a timely manner. In open areas, if it looks like this, we're screwed, man. Gotta love it. What was that? Oh, this thing fell right next door. There was a block there, that thing just crumbled. Shit. This is a hurricane, man. Great time to come to Cancun, the end of September. Now I can see into the neighbor's place. That whole thing fell. Shit, let me go look downstairs. Okay, here's what we got here. Man, it's windy down here too. Woo. I have water, standing water in here. I'm surprised my trash can's still here, you know? <laughs> it must be bolted down. My pool with all that shit in it. Well, this will be something to remember if I ever get out of here. Shit. God, that wind is strong. It's just roaring through here. I'm glad I'm not in that beachfront uh, condo still. Can you imagine? Ooh. No electricity, no Wi-Fi, the fence is blowing down, can't get a hold of anybody, I have no food in this house, just coffee, one beer, and a Donald Trump candy bar. Oh, Donald, you may have just saved my life. Never would have thought. Get well, Donald. And thank you for sustaining me during this horrible tropical storm gamma. <laughs> Here's a look out front from the balcony here. I'm surprised this roof hasn't blown off, you know? Looks like this tree's compromised. It's hanging kind of oddly. Smells good, though. It's got a nice smell. Tropical smell. Green, rain. I don't know how to explain it. It smells fresh. Probably because all these broken leaves and branches. There's no way these phone lines, or these electrical lines are going to survive this shit. It'll probably be a month before they get it going. Damn. Okay, my friends, I'm out here. It's finally slacked off a little. You can see all these le these branches that broke off. They've got them all out here. Parts of the door. I mean, it's just <laughs> unbelievable. And it's like 20 minutes to town, and it's spitting rain. I don't have a phone to call. A cab, so I gotta go to security. This guy, I'm gonna walk anyway. He's probably gonna ask to call a taxi, but yeah, Biga, I'll see if I can get to town without getting soaked. Okay, branches down. I just asked the guard. I said, uh, Centro uh, Tulum Electricidad. No, told us no electricity, no electricity in this area. And I'm starving. I said, uh, restaurants abierto. Si, si, si. So, I'm walking here on the way to town. Lots of wind damage, man. Wow. Who would have thunk it, huh? Baby, baby. Anyway, it'll be a nice little walk. A little bit of a sprinkle, but nothing major. But I don't know how safe it is out here for a gringo. I guess if you could, like me, if you lived in Michoacan, which is the wild west of Mexico, where the cartels rule, I can get by here on the edge of the jungle. Ja! You can see that tree snapped. More trees damaged. 
bench broken. Well, I think somebody did that by the Tulum sign. Okay, here's some lines. I don't know what they are. I just passed Bomberos. Okay, maybe it's not so smart. I see the electric lines. They are above here in Mexico. And I didn't pay attention to that earlier, but they are. And I'm wandering here, and there's some lines on the ground. Maybe I should not be fucking doing this, but I gotta get somewhere. I'm fucking hungry. Shit. Hope I don't get fried. This will go down as the best vacation ever. Look at this. All over the road. Oh, what a blast. Buenas tardes. Nice people in Mexico. Okay. At least I found a store that's open and I had a little bit of cash left. You can't go to the ATMs. The electricity's off all over the entire town. So I've got a little bit of cash. I have no way to get a hold of anybody because all the Wi-Fi things are down. I'm walking back home and there's a big group of dogs up here and I've got a dog phobia. Ah, what a day, what a vacation, shit. Okay, oh my, I am so relieved. I just got home from walking. Uh, walked clear down, oh, it took 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, and I got some necessities. I got some Victoria beer. <laughs> I got some tomato sauce. I got some Parmesan cheese. I got some spaghetti. And I got some cookies. And I got two cans of tuna. And I was just thinking, how am I even going to cook in this house? I don't have candles. I found out how to say candles. Bella, I think is how the guy said it. Um... I went in there and explained, I said, como se dice uh, la luz, no electricidad en casa. <laughs> the guy, we were like motioning. I was going like this, you know, <laughs> look really sick. And he said, uh, Bella, uh, something like that, I think is what he said. And there was another name, but I don't remember. But anyway, came home. The nice landlord, there's an older gentleman who comes here and cleans the pool. Uh, these were laying on my doorstep. Oh my God. And then as soon as I came in, I found this. This is on my table. So, I mean, I've got candles. I'm having a romantic <laughs> solo dinner here. <laughs> Tuna, pasta, and beer. <laughs> oh, my beauty, my beautiful villa without lights or internet. Uh, you know, with a damaged pool. <laughs> ah, but yeah, Biga. It is what it is. I'll survive. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? Gotta cook. Gotta shower before I do anything. I got muddy walking down there. Ciao, ciao. Hey, ciao, ciao. Check out my breakfast. This is eggs ranchero. It's got hot sauce, of course. Mexicans like hot sauce on everything. On top of eggs with a little bit of rice, some beans, and some tortillas. What a breakfast, huh? Get my stomach started right. Hey, <laughs> ciao, ciao, people. I'm here, getting a buzz. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Getting a buzz on Indio people here in my pool. What a difference a day makes. The sun is out today. Some damage. The wind blew all of that down. They blew the whole fence off over there. Limbs down all over the city. Power lines all over the city. Down. My electric was out since 8 yesterday morning. So 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock this morning it came back on. So I'm just trying to enjoy this beautiful weather before I go back to Serbia. And a shout out to my buddy Uroš Milic. Love that guy. My kum uh, in Kalujarica. I mentioned getting kidnapped by the cartel the other day in a video message and I hadn't he hadn't heard from me since then so he googled the American embassy the Serbian embassy number he was getting ready to message him 
So, love that guy. Okay, check this out. This is called a tostado. Pollo, chicken tostado. It's got a hard tortilla, black beans, chicken, avocado, tomato, lettuce, onions, and some cheese sprinkled on top. Oh, these are so good. It's like a big nacho. <laughs> That's why Mexicans are fat. <laughs>